Well, if you're just tuning in, folks, we've had ourselves a treat in this one. In a packed out Sierra Canyon Arena tonight, it's the Rams versus the Trailblazers. And I mean, it has been a show from the tip off, hasn't it, Reg? You are absolutely right about that one, Mark. We've been swagging and serving through this one from the start. This year at Kane and SoCal Academy matchup might just be the game of the year. I mean, looking at the Trailblazers, they've had some amazing play from Isaiah Elohim and Bryce James, but the star tonight has, of course, been USC commit Bronny James. But on the other end, you just can't say enough about five-star junior Dior Washington. I mean, he has been outstanding for the Rams tonight. Outstanding is an understatement. Dior Washington is the truth. Even after C.J. Matthews left this school, the kid is taking on the leader role of this team, and he has willed them to a close game in this one. He's doing it all out there on the floor, but they're going to need a little bit more in order to take this one. And I know you love these types of games, Reg. It has been a hard-fought, grinded-out type of game with no team really able to gain an advantage with how much pressure both clubs have created on defense. I can't deny you on that one. Defensively, both teams aren't giving an inch, and it's been physical from the tip-off. Every move on offense is being countered with better defense. This is one of those games where everyone is leaving it all out on the floor. This, folks, is high school basketball. You can't get nothing better nowhere else. Dan here from the sidelines. Guys, I got the chance to catch up with both coaches, and they said they both wanted to turn it up physically on defense, but it seemed like they were stressing one big point on both sides. Finish the job. Back to you guys in the studio, Reg. Washington bringing it up the floor, guarded by Bronny. He rises up, and oh, there was a lot of contact on that one, but no foul. He has not gotten up. It looks like, yeah, he's grabbing for his left ankle. It don't matter what team, this is the last thing we want to see. Still down on the floor in pain, and this one looks like it's something serious. Man, you hate to see it, Mark, especially from a guy like him in a game like this. This is not good for SoCal. They need him out on the floor. Well, what a devastating turn of events here as his teammates are helping him off the floor. It's looking like he's done for the night for sure and potentially his whole season. Having to sit in that infirmary, being told that my entire junior year was being cut short, honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to recover from that at all. My parents used to always tell me that everything happens for a reason. And I mean, I'm still standing to this day, so. And it's interesting that I saw it off with one of the worst moments of my career, as a lot of y'all already know me for other things. Traveling all the way to California to play alongside the number one shooting guard in the nation at the time, who I like to call my cousin. I mean, I guess you could say I'm someone who took a bad situation and turned it into something really good for themselves. Not only creating a lot of great memories, a lot of great opportunities for me at the next level, but also winning a national championship alongside my own family. Family nonetheless. Everything was set for me to have a starstruck junior season, but of course with the injury happening against Sierra Canyon, that goal got sidetracked. And with every single Hooper who's always gone through something, you know the best thing to do in a situation is just go to the gym. But the whole recovery process had me absolutely losing my mind because I love the game of basketball and not being able to play it because of this had me feeling like I was locked in a mental institution. Like I'm not gonna lie to you bro, I was kind of tweaking, no cap. But with recovery over and me being clear to hoop again it was back in the gym with me and my cousin just like the old days him teaching me everything that i can to be a better player at the next level and with the way that my junior year ended so abruptly senior year was personal for me i knew i had to make a statement and so now we're here the start of the eybl season where i will be playing for none other than strive for greatness created by the man himself the legend lebron james and checking out the squad this year we definitely have the opportunity to win the peach jam national championship running the offense for the squad is your boy and i'm not gonna lie to you this junior year EYBL season definitely has to be a statement for me if I ever want to get back on the radar as some of the higher prospects in my class. Definitely someone who's got a lot to prove this season, but it doesn't seem like he's afraid of the challenge at all. And playing as the other piece of the backcourt is my guy Bryce James. Definitely an athletic player who gets it done on both ends of the floor. With the potential to be better than Bronny himself, Bryce has a lot to prove this EYBL season. Definitely playing with a chip on his shoulder and a legacy to fulfill, Bryce is going to leave it all out there 
on the floor. He just might be the key piece to us to having a long run in the Peach Jam. Then there's Zamir. He's kind of the class clown or the funny guy of the team, but don't get it twisted. He could hoop just like the rest of them. Now, fun fact, his favorite player is actually Vince Carter. So all he does is dunk everything. That, that's it. He, he just dunks. That, that's all. Locking down the four spot for our squad is none other than my boy Gabe. And I'll tell you, he's got a strap. Not one to say much. He definitely just lets his game do the talking, but you check the stat sheet and he's gone five for five from the three point line. So you got to watch him at all times. And at the big man position, we've got someone that we've already played against in my boy Will. Now he played at Centennial with Jared McCain and he was an issue back then, but now he's become a full force problem in the paint. Now, if you're asking me, I think this might be the most athletic big in the entire nation. Then we got my boy Nas coming off the bench who with his size and athleticism is definitely going to help us stress the floor. And another dude right beside him is my guy Kylan coming off the bench with his size at the post at 6'8", he's definitely going to cause a lot of turnovers. And finally, to round out the squad is my guy Zay. Now he's sitting at five foot eight, the true definition of a heart over a height story. But trust me, the kid can ball. It may not seem like it, but his skills may just shock you when you watch him. So here we are, a basketball legend, a scrappy EYBL squad, and a dream of winning the Peach Jam National Championship is within our reach. And for Dior, the opportunity to make a comeback that will never be forgotten. Oh yeah, we finally back. We are finally back, ladies and gentlemen, with Dior's EYBL debut. But this is our guy Dior's final opportunity to be able to really shine here. He's back. This is this is his senior season. You know what I'm saying? This is his redemption arc. This is his comeback. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. It's been taking a long time, but we here, and I'm excited to bring it to you. But first, we got to get through Drive Nation, who, who's already hit a three. I'm not going to lie. And the person I'm guarding... Might go off. If you know, you know. I'm not gonna cap. If you know, you know. I'm here. Good defense. Oh, I can't get it. I couldn't get the freaking steal, man. I couldn't get the steal. Send me that screen, Will. Good pass inside. Hey! Come on, Will. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, we might have one of the best teams in this in this bracket. Like in this in this entire EYBL season. I'm not gonna cap to you. Uh oh. Oh dude. Oh, good hooks, Amir. I was definitely finna uh, try to come back for that putback, but, you know, I'm locking him up. Matter of fact, let me get that. Oh, good steal. Oh, my God. Y'all got to corral these steals, bro. Like, at this point, we just leaving easy points whenever that's the case. Oh, no, clear, clear the floor. Clear the floor. Let me, let me go to work. Let me go to work real quick. Oh, step back, spin move. Oh, my gosh. If I would have got that one to go. Uh, Will, what are you jumping for? Oh, good D, Will. Get the rebound. Oh my gosh. What's the game plan here? Oh, is this a play for me? Oh, pulling up wide open. Bang. Okay. Nah, I like that play. Hey, keep that one in the playbook, coach. Keep that one in the playbook, coach. I like that one. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my boy Zay in the game. Oh, my boy Zay is in the game. What is this? Oh, he just threw me a lob? Nah, that's crazy. That's a block. Good defense. Let's push it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Oh, yeah, Zamir, dunk that. Hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Nah, 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 nah. Got you, coach. We could, we could, we could. Oh, good move. Good move. Good move. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Block that. Oh yeah. Lay. And one. Bro, that's a foul. That's literally a foul. Oh yeah. Let's see what this pin squad talking about. Coach said he gonna give me a little breather. Oh, good block. Why is Gabe getting set a screen for the, oh, corner. Nas. Bang, bang. Uh, oh, yeah, and we back to that press. Come on, let's get a steal. Let's get a steal. All right, coach gave us a little breather, but we back in this game, man. And you know what time it is, man. Y'all know it hasn't gone anywhere. The pick and roll action. Oh, my God. Gabe didn't get that. Oh, good steal. Throw me up. Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. Dior is like that. Hold is crazy. And we got that bad. So you already know. Oh, we got another steal. Oh, look at me cutting. Oh my gosh, why didn't you lay it up with the other hand? And the crowd chanting defense, give me a stop. That's all. Oh my gosh, bro, where did where did he come from? Good block, Gabe. Oh, Zamir pool. Oh my gosh, Zamir. That run was absolutely crazy. And he just sparked it in. We set you a screen, Bryce. 360 lay. Oh my, who are you feeling like, bro? We set you one. Yep. Good post work that right there they just cut the lead down that i'm not gonna lie that kind of got me a little bit tight bro like there's no way we was going crazy hey uh, oh my gosh nah and the slow walk back is crazy bro <laughs> 
I was literally debating on whether or not I'm gonna do a halftime show for this series. I just seen that pop up and that tells me everything I know. This this series is not getting a halftime show. Let me know in the comments, bro. That that right there is crazy. <laughs> not a lot. Coming into the third quarter here, man, we are up six. And honestly, I'm really not trying to have this be a back and forth game. Zamir in the corner. Okay, that's that's not what I wanted y'all to watch. Oh, this might be a mismatch. Yep. That's crazy. Can we get can we get some some something going? Oh no, I seen you cutting back door, Bryce. Oh, I seen you cutting back door, Bryce. And here they go, bro. This is what I'm talking about, bro. One small mistake and and, and now they're back in the game. I see you, my boy Gabe. You missed the first one earlier, but that's money. Holy good rebound. To the basket. I can't get a foul call or nut. Oh, we hey. And just like that, bro. Tie game. Let's just get a quick bucket, bro. Bread and butter. Bread and what? butter. Oh, Bryce Smitty. Bread and butter. <gasps> Net okay. Nobody nobody can hit a shot right now. Nah, bro. Bryce in the corner. What? Oh my <laughs> Yo, like, bro, like, this T and I had a shot to save their lives, bro. We was going on a, a good run, and now they just, now we're just, this is another mismatch, and, oh, my, holy, come on, Will. Lay, oh, I can't even, like, oh, my gosh, and they're stacking the paint, come on. No, is that a... Nah, timeout, bro. <laughs> Is that back to back putbacks? One was a putback dunk, the other was a putback lay, bro. Nah. Lay. Lay him. Lay him. Come on. No way, dude. Defensive rebounding right now is just poor, bro. Oh, uh, he's. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I right, what is going on right now, fellas? What is going on right now, fellas? Like. Oh, Lob Bryce? There we go. There we go. Good pass, eh? 16 to 4 run in the last four minutes is crazy. We need to shut that down right now, bro. Oh. Oh. Bucket. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Just stick with it. Oh, this is a mismatch. You shot that. Z oh my god. My boy Zay is like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe you shot that. You had the confidence to shoot that. Oh yeah, good defense. Great defense. Let's do something here. Please can we get something? Oh, the lob to Kylan. Hey. Uh, nah, give the ball to my boy Zay. He's cooking right now. Kylan, stay on that. That's that's good defense. What the? F oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Did he just shoot a post fade? Come back with a... a p oh, let's go. Let's go, Zay. Let's go, Zay. He said he's not phased. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. Give it to Bryce. Bryce for three. He's like... Oh my gosh, he's like that. I mean, that third quarter alone itself was wild, but. All right, man, eight minutes left here in this game. And thanks to so great third quarter action, bro. Like, we, we got ourselves a one-point lead, which I'm very happy about. Oh, good block. Let's go. I see you, Bryce. Look at the cross-court dime inside the wheel. <laughs> oh my gosh, the team is cooking right now. Use a screen, Bryce. Dior for three. Yes, sir. Oh my guys. It's getting loud out here, folks. It's getting loud out here, folks. I see you, Bryce. Hey, let's go, Bryce. And I'm getting downhill. Play. Oh, never mind. He said, nah, I'm just gonna get up there and go get it myself. Oh yeah, you see me. Oh yeah, Will, inside, good pass. Hey, come on now, dog. I see you, my boy. You know, I'll run the break myself. Oh yeah, dunk that. Hey, put that boy in the rim. Put that boy in the rim. Give me that, another board. And we running it on the break again. Hey. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is gonna do it for this one. We are going to take the victory 75 to 61 in this game right here. Definitely a hard fought battle for sure, but SFG just being more dominant offensively and defensively and some unlikely heroes in this one definitely coming up clutch to make some big time plays in crucial moments that help extend our lead and get us this blowout win. 
Just imagine your first game of competitive basketball after five to six months of not being on the court at all. The first steps you even take on the floor fill you with excitement as you're finally back on the hardwood, a place you call home. You've seen all the tweets, all the posts, everything that everyone had to say about what you were going to do when you hopped back on that floor. All the critics that said you wasn't going to be able to make it back on that floor and you go out there and dominate in the best way possible. Well, fortunately for me, this is just reality. This is my life right now. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. After picking up some wins in our last tournament, we find ourselves in fabulous Las Vegas in a fully packed Bishop Gorman Arena, where we'll be matching up against Vegas Elite and probably one of our biggest tests of the season so far. Trust me when I say Vegas Elite is definitely not a pushover team coming in on a three game win streak and looking to extend it to four. Now how they plan on doing this is two words, Tyron Stokes. Ranked number one in the class of 2026, this 16 year old kid definitely knows how to put the ball in the basket. At 6 foot 7, 210, luckily that's not my matchup. But what I do gotta go up against is the Ohio State commit John Mobley Jr. And if it isn't Tyron Stokes putting up buckets on us, then John Mobley's the other problem that we gotta deal with on the floor. He's got a killer set of moves to be able to break down any defender, he's able to shoot the ball from deep, and not only that, he has great on-court vision as a point guard. Pit these two on the same floor and now you start to see why Vegas Elite runs the UIBO circuit. Coming into a hostile environment for this one is definitely not going to be easy to pull out this victory. But I ain't never backed down from a challenge in my life. And after everything I've been through, I'm definitely not starting today. Here we are in Bishop Gorman for the Las Vegas Showcase going up against Vegas Elite and the number one ranked player in the class of 2025 with Tyron Stokes. But I'm throwing up the lob already to start off the game early. They do have a number one ranked player in the class of 2025, Tyron Stokes. They've also got John Mobley who's committed to Ohio State. And I'm not going to hold you. This team right here, they can definitely do some damage if we're not locked in. Where are they going with this ball? Where are they going with this ball? I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of movement going on. He's left wide open for three and he knocks it down of course i'm telling you everybody in the eybo can shoot bro it's iso ball oh i tried to get that one to go i couldn't get that one to go i'm not gonna lie i'm here i'm here i'm on that john no switch with me switch with me do not why are you guarding him why am i why are you not guarding the big like why would you switch that look he might have got his first one but he's not gonna make this second one watch see look look i told you i told you look up look up i'm down yes sir you see me kid to the basket hey come on now dog you just leaving dior free lane oh yeah no way he got it back of course he got it back there's no way he got that pass back yo he keeps oh my gosh here goes the movement again bro look at him look at him look at him bro look at him and he pulls up for three no way he just <laughs> bro if that's the type of game this is gonna be bro then just let me know now bro because are you serious swinging it to zamir pull up mid-range put back by will oh my gosh all right then make a statement then make a statement then gang don mobley once again looking for something trying to get it going i went underneath the screen that's my fault i shouldn't have went under he gets a bucket man we are not looking good gang i need one shot to fall in come on my boy gay wide open for the three pull up Oh my gosh, just one. I need just one to go in. Why am I guarding the big again? Oh my goodness, they keep throwing lob, bro. I'm about to get tight. Bryce is on Tyron. Tyron spinning, getting to the basket. Layup's no good. And oh my goodness. This is a super team, bro. This is a super team, bro. They're having a field day. Can we get some offense going, Zamir? Inside. Thank you. I just needed to see one bucket go in. Like, I just needed to see one bucket. All right, coach decided, you know what? Go ahead, grab your little breather. We're going to go ahead and put the reserves in. Good pass. And one. That boy Zay came in and already is making winning plays, finding the right man, bro. Good pass. In the hands of Zamir, guarded by Tyron Stokes, trying to get to the basket. Here he goes. Okay, post hook. I, I like it. I like it. You know what? You know what? That's fine. They swinging it back to Mobley. Guarded by Zay. Here comes a quick screen behind the back. Mobley step back. Oh my goodness. That boy just put Zay in a blender off the screen, bro. That was nasty. No cap. Off the screen, Zamir pulling up from the three. No good. Rebounded by Will. Let's go. That's what I need out of you, my boy. Come on. All right, come on, Zamir. Oh, good pass inside nice cut it to an eight point game here comes john mobley again with vegas holy smg slowly chopping away at this lead oh tyran good block jameer driving once again no good good rebound will do something with it kicks it back out to zamir going through the contact finishing man let's go your boy said he don't got enough of a breather now he back in the game it's time to make a oh good steal let's get to the bread and butter man oh is there i'm throwing that lob inside to my boy will man let's get to that bread and butter 
really tiring. Good block. Another block. Oh, yeah. You see me look up. Outlet. We going all the way to the basket. Hey. Come on, Dior. Hand it off to my boy Zamir. Use the screen. Okay. Never mind. He said he got it in the mid range. Oh boy said he got it in the mid range like that. Okay. And just like that, we are looking back at a tie game with three minutes left in the second. We did not start off this game good, but hey man, we taking care of business. My boy Zamir again in the corner. He knocking it down. He ain't even a shooter like that. He's stuck on the screen. They're giving it to John. He's driving. They kick it back out. Man's left wide open. Oh my goodness. Okay, they trying to make this a game. Come on, man. Oh yeah. Downhill to the basket. Lay him. Lay him. Come on now, dog. You know what? I'm not even sure what the play is. Four seconds left. Pull up in the mid range over Mobley. Good rebound by Will. And the putback and the finish. John Mobley's got his takeover. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not a good sign. He goes up with a floater. Knocks it down to make it a two point game. Here we are with the start of the third, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had myself a pretty decent game through a couple turnovers, but Tyron Stokes has also been quiet too. I'm not going to lie. It's really been a lot of the other guys like him that's been stepping up and John Mobley making plays for this team. It might be about time to start taking over this game if I need to. You know what I mean? Oh, and just like that, I'm getting ripped. Oh, here goes Tyran Stoke on the fast break. Oh, that was just a bad play to start out the half. I'm not gonna lie. That was just bad to start out the half. I gotta get it back for the turnover. Hold on, let me cook. Let me cook real quick. Let me cook real quick. Let me get to the basket, Lay. Let me cook. I'm not gonna hold you. If this keeps going into a back and forth game, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to win this game. So we need to stress this lead out. Let's get this pick and roll going. Come on, Gabe. I need you to hit a three or something. Hold on. Bro, shoot the ball. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I got it. I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even gotta say it, bro. Y'all could put it down in the comments. A reverse putback dunk is crazy. Can we get the pick and roll action going again? Cause last time it didn't work. Left my boy too much space. Come on now, Gabe. Come on, Tyran. I'm here. I'm on that. No way he got that layup to go. Man, this game has been nothing but back and forth the entire time. And quite frankly, it could really go either way. And y'all left Tyran Stokes wide open for three. Come on, man. We're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. We're going to get it back, man. Let's go. I like this energy. I like this. Let's keep the energy right here. I'm letting him blow right past me, bro. That's my fault. That's my bad. He just went right past me to the cup. Let me get my get back. Let me get my get back to the basket. He's too small. Hey, lay him. He's too small. You want to make one of them games come on la mobley don't do that oh my gosh that should have been a steal that should have been my steal oh my gosh that's a tyrant just jumped in front of the pass tyrant just jumped in front of the pass and john mobley another layup on the inside back and forth back and forth me and mobley the lob in the oh my gosh it's Tyrant is out here throwing lobs. Okay. Trying to get back to what they were doing early in the first because they had a big lead early on in the game. And we're just leaving folks wide open. This is not what we need right now. Hold on. Let me get to the basket. I got take. Ooh, driving wide open lane. Hey, come on, man. I don't know who they just put on me, but I'm about to cook if that's the case. If they if they put him on me, oh yeah, I'm about to cook. Come on, locking in, playing that defense. They're leaving. Nah, that's too deep. If he hits. Oh my God, these boys are shooting lights out in the gym tonight. I'm here, I'm here, I'm with it, I'm with it. Never mind, he just went straight to that spot and pulled up. Vegas Elite out on the fast break again. Tyrant, oh, he just bullied Kyle into the basket. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell me Tyrant's starting to heat up. He's got his takeover. He's getting to the basket again and he just keeps bullying Kylan, bro. No, it's a nine point game, bro. Can we please get a bucket? I got my take. I'm getting to the basket, rising up over Tyrant. Stokes. Oh my gosh. Catching a body on Tyrant is crazy. No way I was it. Oh my gosh. I wasn't paying attention to this score. That's that's L. That's obese. No cap. That's obese. But the contact dog was crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. Here we are in the final eight minutes. Can we make ourselves a comeback down nine in this one? Yo, that is your second illegal screen this game, bro. It's about, it's a, oh man, I'm about to get, Zay, get back, Zay, get back, Zay, I'm here, nope, it's, yo, he has been cooking, we are now down by, what is that, 10, this is not good, hit me, come on, hey, good pass, I'm out on that break, let's push tempo, let's push tempo, come on, let's push tempo, lay, lay him, lay John Mobley, let's push that tempo, come on, who am I guarding, who am I guarding, who am I guarding, this is a mismatch, this is a huge mismatch, this is not a good mismatch, 
can we nope can we oh i can't get no help i just can't get no help on that one that's unfortunate but we're good let's get this pick and roll going oh yeah headed to a basket throwing that low <laughs> oh my god nah, i don't even know who that is but he just went crazy what all right come on bryce you got a wide open lane oh that's a that's a bucket that's an easy bucket that's an easy bucket right there come on they can't get it they can't that's five seconds yo that's that's five seconds right there that's five that's definitely five that's definitely five and of course they don't have all right come on y'all it's just four and a half minutes left man can we find some sort of offense here can we find some sort of something foul and one uh, that's a way to start it off right there and we getting the free throw to go man all the way to the basket no, I couldn't get a lay. No, I couldn't get the lay. And they left Tyrant open for three. Oh my gosh. Come on now, y'all. I know. Oh, did I just get ripped again? Come on. Can we get us a quick stop? Can we get us a quick stop? Oh my gosh. He just set a down screen into like the easiest backdoor cut, bro. We got we got the possession. We got possession. Inside. Lay. Good. Come on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's enough time left. We here. I'm on Tyrant. I'm Oh, I can't get none of these steals. That's it. I'm not gonna lie, that was it right there. Just like that, that's gonna wrap up this game. Unfortunately, we couldn't come in here and take the victory, but I'm gonna be I'ma see you again, Tyran. Don't even trip. I'm gonna see you again. Don't even trip about this one. I'ma see you again, my boy. The final score is 83 to 74 in this one. We put up a good fight, but they they just, you know what I'm saying, had more star power and they were able to get more buckets going late in the fourth quarter. They went on a late run and ultimately it got them this victory so so yeah that game against vegas elite not what we expected whatsoever and even though i had a pretty decent game none of that really matters we still lost granted the game itself was absolutely action-packed from the tip off to the very end highlight plays all over the board from both sides but this is basketball no lead is safe and you gotta learn how to close out games late in the fourth and that's what we didn't do ultimately i put this game on me now looking at the stat sheet i mean i filled it up 33 points five rebounds and nine assists almost a triple double but a stat line like that came with seven turnovers and quite frankly that was the reason why vegas elite was able to come back in this game and take over late in the fourth and i know what a lot of people would say you put up great stats you balled out but that doesn't matter if we can't come out with victories because of my mistake as the point guard and the leader of this team i got to be able to handle business every single time i step out on the floor and not have costly turnovers cost us the game surrendering an 11 to 2 run to close out the fourth quarter and ultimately giving vegas elite the victory they say that the best way that you can learn is through your losses and the one thing that i learned the most is that as my teammates trust in me to close out games i got to be able to trust in them too to finish out strong and once i figured that out we went on a complete tear winning our next four out of five games and finishing as one of the top seeds in this circuit the more wins that we can pull during these sessions the more it's going to help us come peach jam tournament time after the games in Vegas it was as if our team just clicked and everything just started working for us honestly great that it happened at this point as we're gonna have to play the best stretch of basketball that we've played throughout this entire season going up against some of the better teams in the EYBL for this circuit we in New York City and we just came off of a huge win against team why not feeling pretty confident but we've got another game coming up against team Melo and none other than Carmelo Anthony's son future NBA prospect Kyan Anthony this game was already marked on our calendars but it got a whole a lot bigger within the upcoming weeks after what happened you see t Melo has this point guard named romeo travis i'm not entirely sure where he come from or what school he plays for but all i know that dude is a bucket he's one of those guys that likes to talk trash a lot on the basketball court but he's definitely putting somebody on a highlight reel and will let you know about it so basically the story goes after putting up 30 and 10 and beating drive nation rome fully expected that ball his life was going to post his stat line on social media as he absolutely went crazy but they didn't the post that they chose and said was our comeback victory against team why not you see rome is one of those guys that loves to be in the spotlight on any social media platform so when they decided to post us over him he had some choice words about it now of course i'm not really a big social media guy but i was excited to see my name pop up on a ball is life tweet talking about how well i performed but apparently rome didn't like that rome decided to clap back on twitter saying 33 10 and 5 and this is what they post folks must not be watching games out here it's all right though let him get his little fame from being hurt he needs it and that brings us here to today where not only will we be going up against t Melo and Kyan anthony but i get to go face to face with this dude who decided that talking trash over the internet against the number one team in the eybl 
was a bad decision i have been waiting for this game all week we on the court now so you gonna have to play me but here we are going up against team mellow and like i said before there's a lot of stuff riding on this game so we definitely gotta lock in for this one for sure bryce kicking it over to me and oh yeah oh yeah let me go to work uh, uh, get to that basket spin move play oh my gosh i thought he blocked it i'm not gonna cap that's crazy oh yeah we running it we running it i see you zamir can you get to that basket? Foul. And one. And one for my boy Zamir. Like I was saying before, I feel like everybody's kind of got their own storyline going on, bro. This point guard was talking crazy over the net. My boy Hurl and my boy Will been going at it since they was kids. And now they going at it again. Like, I feel like everybody got their story, bro. Nah, you were saying all that. Oh, good steal. Oh, yeah. A whole team here, matter of fact. Oh, hit me on the dive. Kyan, he's too small. He's too little. Lay him. He's a baby. Whole team got straps. Whole team got straps. Whole team got straps. Oh, yeah. Dior on the break. Come on now. I, I really should be guarding you 94 feet, but I ain't going to do you like that just yet. I ain't going to lie. Pull up for the three. Yeah, that's all. He talking crazy. He ain't coming to play, though. Look at my boy Zamir, though. To the basket. Hey, <laughs> look at the dime. I see you, gang. Oh, dime to Gabe? Nah, nah, it's cool. It's cool. Why would you take that up? Oh, that's why you took that up. Because you're him. My fault, bro. 15 to 2 is what I like to see to start off a game. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what I like to see for sure. Let me chill, bro. Let me chill, bro. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. Kanye just got a wide open bucket because I'm doing too much. Oh, good pass. Now that's a good pass. Nah, that's crazy. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I'm not gonna cap. Okay, yeah, nah. I don't need the ball in my hand no more. I'm good. Let Bryce go to work. Good. Off the glass? Bryce the key Tim Duncan or something off the glass game? For sure. Oh, that would have been another steal. That would have been another steal. That's off. <laughs> Alright, I guess not. My fault, buddy. I can't. I gotta get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back. Kyan, wide open. And he knocks it down, of course. They trying to make this a game again. Hold on now. Two things. I'm loving how we're playing on defense. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm loving the fact that we really locking in on defense. We getting these stops and these steals, bro. Second thing. That right there. Because this, this game is not over, bro. And I do not need another Vegas Elite run, bro. I'm not going to cap, bro. But I see you, gang. Hey, the love. Oh, yeah, I see you back door. Bryce, what a Oh, my gosh. Yo, he was about to bang that out, bro. Chill out, Bryce. And on the other end, they leaving that man wide open in the corner for three, bro. Come on now, dog. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> One hand reverse jam is crazy, Dior. I'm not guarding that. Okay, I'm about to say, y'all better switch it because why would I guard the big? Why are we leaving Kyan open, bro? Y'all want to make this a game for some reason, bro. We've been dominating this whole time. Now y'all want to make this a game. Oh, got him jumping. Lay. What? I smoked it. I smoked the lay. I smoked the lay. I had him jumping. I had him jumping. Kyan for three. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my gosh, he missed both. Oh my good lord, he missed both. Nah, it's wide open for three. Bang, bang. Oh, was it two? His, his feet was on the line, but we good though. All right, nah, it's wide open for three again. Oh my goodness, look at me setting my boy up. Behind the back move, inside. Oh, that's a bad pass. Give me that back. Never mind. Hey, <laughs> that was such a... Oh. Oh, me, that was such a... I, I should have just threw a lob, bro. I didn't think he was going to get it. You know what? That's fine. Gabe moving the ball around, kicking it to my boy Nasir. Oh, yeah. Swing that to me. Look at the ball movement. Look at the ball movement. Zamir in the mid-range. Look at the ball movement, man. It's beautiful. Well, here we go. I'm not I'm not going to hold you. They don't put me on the pitch and put my boy Zay in now. As far as they point guard, he hasn't been held to much, bro. Not going to cap. When I'm guarding him... He's clamps. He's done for. And I'm hoping that and I'm hoping that Zay can reciprocate energy. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, because there's no way you talk like that on social media and not put up the buckets. But my boy Zay is putting up the buckets. Let's go, Zay. Hurl versus Nasir. I don't know if I like this, bro. He trying to get to that basket, pick up floater. He missed it though. Oh my gosh, he missed it. I don't know the break again. Nas to the basket. Nas has came in and has put in buckets in a hurry, bro. No cap. Pull it up in the mid-range. No good. They cannot buy a bucket right now. And and we are taking full advantage of the fact that they just can't shoot right now. I'm not going to lie. Zamir in the hands of Nas. Another three-pointer. Nah, he's on fire. He's on fire. That boy Nas is on fire, bro. Oh, my. And he got his take. Yeah, he's definitely on fire. 
Hey, here we are, man, with the start of the third quarter. And looking at the scoreboard, hey, this is, did what we like AC. You feel me? Did what we like AC. But this game is definitely not over. And they starting off chucking threes out the quarter, bro. This game is not over. This game is far from over. Come on. Oh, to the basket. Hey! <laughs> Yo, that's his. Yo, that's his second time doing that, bro. That spin move into a dunk is it's gotta be his go-to. Not gold cap. Oh, here we go. I'm here. We're, we're on that. We're on that. I'm not. Like I said, bro. We've been we've been clamping him up most of this game. Oh, except for that right there. Let me reset. Can I reset? Let me reset what you will. Let me reset what you will. Yup. Oh, step back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That boy is cooking. And the, and the struggles just continue as I'm getting to the basket. Layup is good. Say that. All right. Come on, Kylan. Let's 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 get you a bucket, my boy. Let's get you integrated into the game real quick, my boy. The lob. Hey! Push it up the tempo. Baseline. Oh, to the basket. Oh, well. Oh, and of course I get blocked by Earl, bro. Kylan, I see you. Dime inside and one. I see you, Kylan. I see you running the floor, my boy. Look, always reward your big men when they run the floor, bro. Easy buckets and transition. The run is in. Oh, good steal. Kick it up. Oh, lay. Oh my gosh. Where is he? Where is he going? Where is he going with that lay? Oh my goodness, that lay was. Oh yeah, Will. Oh yeah, Will, you know what time it is, man. You know what time it is, man. You know what time it is, man. Hey, hang on that rim, Will. Hang on that rim. I try to get, I try to get free off the, off the, yep, I'm here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? A screen? That's good defense. Oh, of course he gets the floater to go. I'm not gonna lie, 59 to 44, you know what, you love to, and, and we playing that defense, you love to see it. Like, you absolutely love to see it, dog. Wide open for three. And of course he knocks it down. And of course he knocks it down. Of course he knocks it down. When I'm not on the floor, that's when he wanna start getting buckets. All right, you know what? When I get back in, I got something for you. Just watch. They're only, look, they're only down by 12 and ain't no way they just got that lob off to make it a 10 point game. This is, this is, oh, good steal Nas. Good steal Nas. You see me, I'm by myself. Hey, hey. Hang on that rim, Dior. My boy is going absolutely crazy, bro, and he is filling it. 24 points tonight for him. I'm out on that break again. Hold on, off the glass. Hey! <laughs> That's game. That's game. Book it. Book it. Dock it. Click it. It's over, bro. Which whatever you want to say to say this thing is done. Raps. Finish. Finito. Uh, over. Like, bro, this raps. Give me that double block. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, spin move. You're too little. You're too you're tiny, small, minuscule, whatever word you want to use, bro. He cannot guard me. And you was talking crazy on the net, bro. You was talking crazy on the net. Now you seeing me in the game. You wanna throw that pass? You wanna throw that pass? Oh yeah, never mind. My boy Nas is getting another steal. I see you, Nas. Go all the way. Keep going. Hey! <laughs> Y'all forget my boy Nas can get up there and dunk with the best of them, bro. Come on now. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna say not the best of them. He not jumping with Zamir. Zamir don't go everybody on the team, bro. See me. See me. See. Oh, Bryce. Okay, Bryce. Okay, Bryce. Spit move. Get to that basket. Oh my gosh. Did Bryce just have an ISO cook up session against Cayenne? I'm here. I'm there. I'm there. He's only been able to score when I'm not guarding him, bro. I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you. And he's too slow. Hey, and what? <laughs> That's cook. That's raps. That's game. That's raps. That's raps. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. We are going to walk out of here with a victory in New York, man. This is what we love to see, man. This right here is a great showing for SFG. This is what the number one team in the EYBL looks like. I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody contributed. Everybody came up in a big way, especially on defense. And we're able to close out this game with the victory. <sighs> Today's a good day. Y'all know we just messed up with Team Melo. And quite frankly, let's just say that this game wasn't very pretty at all for them.
I mean, for us, it was just a dominating performance on both sides of the ball. And you know, when someone talking trash on the court, you gotta step up and come to play. And that's just what we did. I mean, from the tip off to the very last second, it was highlight after highlight, play after play, bucket after bucket. And it didn't seem like they had an answer for us whatsoever. And obviously y'all know what made it so much better is the fact that we got to shut down our trash talkers in the process. One thing that I'm gonna say is you don't gotta like me or love me, but whenever we playing, you gonna respect me for sure. And I feel like we made that statement out on the floor. And trust me, whenever I got the chance to clap back after this big dub, I only had one thing to say. And with that being said, we can finally move on. But I do want to go back for a second. I mean, our journey has been absolutely crazy from the beginning, going from a national championship to potentially never playing basketball again. But with all the odds stacked against us, we've made do with what we can do, and this comeback has been special up to this point. I mean, it hasn't always been pretty, but people have started to take notice that Dior Washington can actually be something, which is why we're here in New York City for the Slam Summer Classic. Now, the Slam Summer Classic was filled with a lot of events, but the first one that we had for the day was the boys and girls battling it out in a 2v2 tournament. Now, don't get me wrong, it was all fun and jokes, but let me tell you, these girls can actually go out here and hoop. Do not get it twisted. I mean, this was just a way for everybody to get loose, get their legs warmed up before the big games tonight at Rucker Park, but it got a little bit competitive out there during the third and fourth games of the tournament because, you know, nobody out here wants to lose, so everybody kind of going their hardest. I mean, it was fun to team up with some of the best players in high school basketball on the boys and girls side and go out there and just have fun and hoop for a bit. But things started getting a little bit intense in the game with AJ DeBansta and Cooper Flag. I mean, going by 11s, 1s, and 2s, they got off to a quick lead with a couple of three-pointers and AJ finishing at the rack. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it was looking bad for Coop. I mean, it just seemed like it was one of those games where AJ couldn't be stopped getting to the basket and there was no answer for what they had offensively. Then something clicked. One defensive stop later and now Coop team's got the ball back and now we're starting to watch this lead go down from a four point lead to a three point lead and now a two point lead and then she's pulling up in the mid range off a cross court pass and now we're looking at a tie game I'm like what in the world is going on I mean we're talking about people who are top two in their class going back and forth and Cooper Flag decided to call game with this step back game winning three watching Cooper Flag Coop in person for the first time I definitely understood the hype around his name but now it's time for some fun Your boy has entered the slam dunk contest, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this one was a movie for show, featuring some of the top prospects in high school hoops. We got the six foot four guard out of Archbishop Wood in Jaleel Bethea, the six foot six forward from the OTE University, Ja'Kai Howard, and definitely the dark horse of this entire dunk contest, five foot ten guard to Hyde Pettiford. Everybody kind of got their dunks in, but for the most part, it was really just us four that it came down to, and we was even talking beforehand about what dunks we was gonna try out. Before the dunk contest even started, we all got the chance to warm up a little bit for about two minutes to get ourselves ready for what dunks we was about to do in the contest itself. Then Taha decided to start us off with this reverse double clutch slam, and I'm not gonna lie, he got the crowd hype with this one. I mean, everybody kind of got out of their seat, and everybody was rooting for him, so when it was my turn, I'm not gonna lie to you, I had no idea what I was about to do for this dunk. So after standing around for three years, I figured I'd throw it off to myself, bring it to my leg, and punch that thing home. Just something simple, but it got the crowd hype. Next was Jaleel, and he decided to bring out a teammate as he jumps over him between the legs and punches that thing home, and that let me know it was time to get serious. After that, Ja'Kai decided to throw a lob from around the scores table and go between the legs off the catch reverse jam, and looking at it in slow motion, I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty clean dunk. I gotta give it to my boy Ja'Kai. It was real clean. It was real smooth. Then to Todd comes up and he decides to just go off vert between the legs and it's just amazing to see somebody really short going out for a dunk I'm not gonna lie to you 
Jalen. It's funny to watch. Now, Jaleel told us for his next dunk, he had no idea what he was gonna do, but just watch, because it was gonna be something special. This man decided to throw a lob from the three-point line, catch it with one hand, honey dip dunk it, and use the other hand to dunk it again. At this point, everybody was definitely starting to get into it, and that might have been the dunk of the night for sure. But Ja'Kai had other plans as he came from the baseline, off the bounce, between the legs, reverse jam, and it was so smooth. Everybody thought that that was gonna shut the gym down, but I had one dunk left in me, and I did this. I decided to rise up, go between the legs, underneath both legs, off of a 360, and punch it home. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, there was a lot of dunks done out here, but I really think that took the cake. But y'all let me know down in the comment section who you think won the dunk contest between me, Taha, Ja'Kai, or Jalil. But after finishing up the slam dunk contest, me and the guys all hopped on the bus and we were one trip away from heading to Rucker Park. And I mean, stepping out there on that floor for the first time, it was electric. It was crowd packed. Everybody was filling up the stands and everybody was ready for these high school prospects to put on an absolute show here in new york you know as a kid you always dream of playing in the big moments in the big games under the brightest lights with some of the best players on the floor and i have the opportunity to do that tonight here in rucker park so here we go trust me you don't want to miss a second of what's about to happen yes sir ladies and gentlemen we are here in the slam summer classic in rucker park new york and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm i'm highly excited for this one this is a chance for us to really show off our skills ian jackson already pull it up in the mid range uh, this vi this video did take a minute to make i'm not gonna lie because i i did get a new pc oh no way he just hit that shot i'm not gonna lie they might be hitting everything in this one this video took a minute because i was getting this new computer set up but we back with the content let me throw the lava the Coop? Oh my gosh, the lay is crazy. I thought he was gonna dunk that. Dunk that next time, Coop. I need like 30 points out of you, my boy. I'm not gonna lie. We sitting on that. We sitting on everything. I'm not gonna lie to you. Dylan Harper wide open for the three. Oh my god. This this game might just be a shootout. What he about to do? Spin move to the basket. That's a little boy move. That's a little boy. That's a little boy down there in the paint. That's a little boy down there in the paint. Come on now, Coop. Now, Taha went crazy in the dunk contest, but like, let's see how he does out here on the court. And Dylan Harper with another three-pointer, man. All right, I just realized I haven't even gotten me a bucket yet. Hold on. Let me see if I can get to that basket. <laughs> get to that lane oh foul it won oh my god i'm really trying to run up the scoreboard but i'm also trying to win this game i'm not trying to lose and there goes ace bailey with a lay come on man i'm i'm i'm, I'm trying to go on a little bit of a run early get this crowd hype but you know what i'm saying they keep they respond with everything i'm not gonna lie oh my and to hide Pettiford, bruh. To hide Pettiford, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. He a dog. He one of them dogs. But I'm one of them dogs, too. Hold on. Let me get to the basket. Spin move. Hey! Oh, my gosh. Yo, chill, Dior, bruh. It's supposed to be a fun game. Relax, dog. Relax. Oh, cap. I got you with a screen, cap. I got you with a screen, cap. Step back in the mid-range. Oh, my gosh. That boy Ian Jackson is tough. Nah, this is it's high scored out the gates, bro. I'm loving this energy, bro. Come on. Let's lock in. I'm here, though. Dylan Harper, a three-pointer, and he knocks it down, bro. This game is about to be straight highlights, dog. What is he doing? Taking step back threes. Oh, Jalil trying to get to that basket. Inside the ace, Bailey. Oh, my gosh. What a dimer. They're trying to set a down screen for it to hide. Here he goes again. Ja'Kai Howard rising up and getting to the basket. Nah, this team this team is stacked. This team is stacked. Both teams are stacked, bro. This might be one of them classics. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. We dug at everything in the Slam Classic, man. Let's go. Are oh, we here? Oh, wide open. Jalil Bethea for three, bro. What happened on the screen? We not get a switch or something? You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, when in doubt, go ahead and just give it to the number one player in the country, my dog. Oh, never mind. Captain Jack gonna get to the basket. Captain Jack, hey! Ian Jackson. Oh, my God. We going crazy in New York, bro. We going crazy in New York. Let's go, Cap. Oh, I thought you had to steal. That's my bad. That's my bad. I thought you had to steal. Go to work, Coop. Go to work, Coop. He's a little boy down there. He's a little boy down there. Cooper flag another bucket. Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Taha got take. What? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Nah, that's disgusting. You know what? I haven't heard from my boy AJ DeBansa. Come here, dog. Come here, dog. Let me let me get you right, dog. Yes, sir. Cut to that basket. I see you. Hey! 
Yo, nah, we dug in everything at the Slam Classic, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. We kick it to AJ. AJ, let's see what you got, my boy. Oh, see me on a dive. Hey! Good cut, good find, good finish. Oh, that was my steal. No, I was my No way. No way, bro. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Yo, this sharp... Yo, to hot Pettifer and this sharp take is absolutely insane, bro. I don't even I don't even want to know how many points the hot has because I know he's just been shooting straight threes, bro. Straight contested three pointers. I don't know what's gotten into him. Oh, that's off. That's no way Ace Bailey just hit that three. All right, dog. Can I get to the basket? Hey! Oh my gosh. Come on now. Let me show out in New York. Back out. I'm here. No way he's pulling from that. What? Dude. All right, bro. I, I, bro. Captain Jack, Captain Jack, pulling up in the midi. Oh my gosh, we're getting buckets. We just need to get stops now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. We just need to get the stops. No sir, no sir, no sir. AJ Debansa in the post. Oh my gosh, the post fade looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Captain Jack. Once again. Oh, he sees me going downhill. Oh. my <laughs> nah, Dior is taking off, bro. He, yeah, I see you, Coop. I see you, Coop. Go to work. He's a little boy. He's a little boy, Coop. He's a little boy, Coop. The post fade. I said your bag as well, Coop. Let me find out. And Captain Jack got takeover. All right, man. Look, I'm not gonna lie. The first half action packed for sure. That's good, boys. That's good, boys. We out. We out on that break. Ugh. Can I get to that basket? Can I get to the basket? Here he goes. Hey. Oh yeah, Dior. I think it's about time we 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 might need to start shutting this thing down, bro. It's 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 insane. It's insane. It's insane. Oh, can I get to the basket? Hey! I mean, it's really free drives to the basket for my boy Dior, bro. He really just showing off the bounce in this game. Good defense, VJ. I'm gonna reward you, VJ. Hey! Oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh, VJ Edgecombe. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Come on, y'all. We just need like one stop. And they throwing a lob. He missed it. I see you, Cap. Another one, Cap. Give it to me, Cap. Let's go. We're locked in. We're locked in. And Dylan Harper just. Oh my goodness. This team just does not seem to miss. Like they just don't seem to miss. Cause if not, if they're not gonna miss. You know what I'm saying? Pull up. Mid range. Yes, sir. If they're not going to miss, then we're just going to not have to miss, bro. Like, every shot just is going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Cam Jack. Cam Jack behind the back move. Lay. Oh, my gosh. That's smooth. That's that's smooth. That's a smooth behind the back. Oh, yeah. AJ dunked that. Hey. <laughs> Put that boy in the rim. AJ DeBansta. Coop. AJ DeBansta. Captain Jack for the three. Let's go, Cap. Ian Jackson. Oh, give me that. 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 Oh, yeah, Cam Jack. All the way. Hey. Oh, yeah, we play that defense. I, I know it's a slam classic, but we play that defense still. Yes, sir. It's time for the fourth quarter. It's time for us to take this thing home, bro. I'm not walking out of here with an L. I'm not going to lie to you, dog. AJ again. AJ again. AJ again off the pick and roll. Nah, he's just, he's dunking everything. If we can get ourselves a couple of stops, we'll be able to secure this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. If we can get just a couple more stops, we can secure this dub. They're missing somebody. They're missing somebody. Hey, the windmill. Oh my. The windmill is crazy, dog. I'm not gonna cap to you. The windmill is crazy, dog. Oh yeah, you see me on the break. I'm getting. Hey! Oh yeah, we playing that defense now. We playing that defense now. Come on. You know what? That's fine. You know what time it is. Cooper flag. Cooper flag. That man might just be a glitch. Pull up mid range. They wanted me to ISO that possession. I'm like, I got you, coach. You got it, VJ. You got it, VJ. You got it, VJ. Behind the back move. Hey! I think we know how to end this, man. Cooper, spin move, floater. He's just, yo. Anything that he throws at the basket is just going in. Let's let's not forget we got AJ DeBance on the squad. Hey! Oh my, yo. <laughs> that alley oop had the crowd off of their feet, bro. That's crazy. Oh, he gets blocked. Cooper, you got it. Cooper, you got it. To the basket. Hey! Cooper flag taking flight. Oh, they pulling up for three. Dylan Harper. He can't get it to go. We get the rebound. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the Slam Summer Classic. We come out here and take the victory. 124 to 117. Definitely a hard fought battle for sure. High scoring. 
great plays, great energy, and honestly, a great way for Dior to just get his name on the map, you feel? So I guess you could say that my time in New York was a time well spent. And I definitely had a good time. I mean, it was an absolutely great event. And honestly, shout out to Slam for putting me in it. While we was out here in New York, we did so many things. From the 2v2 that we had, to the crazy dunk contest, even to the side videos that we had to record with Slam Hoops, all the way down to the game itself. This entire weekend was a movie. And the best thing about it is that during this entire time, I was able to go up against some of the best players in high school basketball and some prospects to get my name out there with that being said this actually starts this game off with a little bit of an interesting conversation that happened between my cousin cj matthews and his homeboy which y'all may already know or not know trey jackson if y'all don't remember who trey jackson is he played against cj in high school which is where they became close friends then he committed to florida state to team up with none other than juice higgins juice higgins being a high school phenom coming out of chicago and that's important because we're going to touch on that in just one second but now that you're caught up let's get back to the conversation between cj and trey now this conversation was happening during the time that rod wave elite and drifty elite were set to play each other now to fill you guys in dior actually got invited to play for drifty elite this season but dior hadn't given his answer yet so trey decided to ask is he still playing for drifty elite this year cj wasn't entirely too sure about what was going on so he said i don't know that's when trey let him know that juice has been talking about some certified hooper out in chicago who's going to be playing for rod wave elite the number one ranked point guard in the nation to be exact and he was going to be on that floor against drifty elite now cj knowing that dior loves to step it up in these big time games with these big time players he definitely says that dior is not ducking from any smoke so trey said hey put your money where your mouth is let's put bread on it let's see if dior can outscore the phenom from chicago cj says all right let's put bread on it and that's what brings us to today so i decided to catch me an rwe game just to see how the team was playing this season and see who i'd be going up against granted i knew the team had certified hoop guys like Trey Parker who's been on the team a couple of times guys like Dylan Harper we was just playing with him at the Slam Silver Classic and guys like Zion Sinsley and you know I had to watch some of the videos on the channel so I knew about guys like Nelson and LeVar which contrary to popular belief LeVar is a hooper but don't get it twisted and despite his size and his defensive liability Nelson is gonna get some minutes out there you will see him on the floor but to be honest my eyes were really just glued on one guy and I knew exactly from when he stepped on the floor who my cousin was talking about the number one ranked point guard in the country hezekiah bird smith and watching him live for the first time i understood exactly why he was ranked number one i mean this kid had it all one of them real dogs as everybody would say when it comes to being on the basketball court just straight domination on both sides of the floor and i mean watching this team play this team really had it all from start to finish they dominated this entire game and it just had me more and more excited to whenever we finally got to match up so what happens when the two top point guards in the country match up for an AAU championship and don't get it twisted on this other side of the ball there's some heavy hitters on our squad too guys like Carter Bryant, Ja'Kai Howard, Jaleel Bethea I teamed up with both of them in the summer classic along with dudes like Vic Miller and Bryce James who's going to be coming off the bench for us but all the eyes right now is focused on number one versus number two tonight. Ladies and gentlemen here we are with the Rod Wave Elite versus Drifty Elite AAU championship game. There's some heavy hitters out here on this floor right now. I'm not going to hold you. Yeah, there is a lot of heavy hitters out here on this court right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really excited to see how this one goes. And we and we got to go up against that boy. Hezzy is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Off the screen. I see you, Jakai. Hey, let's get this thing started, man. Come on. Yes, sir, man. The number one ranked point guard in the nation, Hezzy Burt Smith, bro. I've been waiting on this one for a minute. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm, I'm excited to see what he brings, bro. I heard. Oh, good steal. Let's, let's reset it. Oh, BJ. Oh, my God. That's tough. That's tough. I like that. Oh, yeah, we here. Come on, Hezzy. Let's see what you got, my boy. Let's see what you got, my boy. Trey Parker, pull up for the... Mmm, that man Trey said, I got it. All right, for sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The rip is crazy. Yo, chill, has he Like, I thought we was, thought we was cool, dog. Oh, my gosh. I thought we was cool, my boy. Oh, screen. Mid-range. I tried to set him at screen there. It didn't work. But there's just not... There's, honestly, there's just not enough spacing on the floor right now. Like, we're not getting any buckets because we're not getting any space. And we're, they're getting easy mismatches. All right, hopefully this should help us out, bro. Maybe I can get more space. Can I get to the basket? Lay. That's tough. Now we got to start locking in. Dilla Harper wide open for three. 
and they're just come on like we got to do better than that oh my gosh oh my i can't get there in time oh he missed and of course Le <laughs> and of course labar is grabbing the rebound bro i'm there Hezzy wide open misses again hey did i expect him to throw the lob in that situation no not at all but hey i'll take it i will take it that's fine. Just reset it. Maybe it wasn't meant for me. Maybe it wasn't meant for me. Hey! Maybe it just wasn't meant for me. My, my fault. My fault. Maybe it just wasn't meant for me. Oh, inside. Jakai. Lay. Yes, sir. All right, man. Look, it's the start of the second. And I have. I feel like I really haven't been scoring like that for real. Playing that defense. But step back. Pull up in the mid-range. Oh, my gosh. I just got to get back to cooking. Oh, yeah, Jakai. I'm getting to that basket. Oh, my gosh. That's just a bad take. That's just a bad take. I really thought I could get to the basket, but Zion come over the block. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, do my eyes deceive me? I have Nelson guarding me in the game, bro. I have, you know what? Shoot, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Hey, I'll take that any day of the week. Nah, but this is actually crazy. Nelson is in the game, bro. Nelson is actually playing some minutes, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you. I cannot let him score, bro. I, I really cannot let him score. That's gonna be bad luck. We cannot let Nelson torch our defense. Good rebound. Oh, I see you. I see you, Vic. I see you, Vic. I see you, Vic. Hey, did he just break off Trey Parker? Oh my gosh. You and LeVar got this little one-two game y'all trying to get cooking, but Zion pull up in the mid-range. He got, he got a mid-range jumper like that? Okay, my brother. Oh, pass inside. Hey, I was trying to set a screen for Jakai, but he didn't use it. I faked the reset, cut to the basket, and uh, I mean, it's Nelson on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Crowd chanting defense. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. Oh, no what? way. I thought y'all got that. Okay. Nelson's bucket was not on me, though. Oh, spin left. Hold on. Hey. What? <laughs> Yo, Dior, yo, my Dior just be like, I don't even know, bro. With these putback dunks, bro, it's at least one a game. But like, come on, dog, that was the one. And now we live in the center wide open. And I guess he can shoot. Might have to just go back to, you know what I'm saying? We might just have to go back to what works. Might just have to go back to what works. Hey, oh, no, no. That's crazy. Back to back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to hold you. We getting a little rest here on the bench. But Hezzy is back in the game. And I'm really hoping the bench squad could hold it down for 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 like for like jesus christ i can't even like <laughs> i feel like hezzy about to start getting buckets right here bro i feel like hezzy's about to start getting buckets now that i'm not on the floor look at the oh my he hadn't had a point in a minute that dunk was supposed to be a statement bro i promise you that bro he did that that was supposed to be a statement but can we just hold it down like can we can, can we can we not let this lead what? get out oh okay can we just not let this lead start like getting big bro okay bro Oh, he missed. Good defense. Okay, never mind. Never mind, bro. And here we go, bro. I go to the bench, and this is what happens, dog. Like, this is just what happens, bro. Like, can we just not blow this blow this close game that we had? Jakai, mid-range. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, I, and there's like, it's not even, it's not, it's like this is the worst time for this to happen when I'm not on the floor and able to do something about it. Like, I, I really gotta sit there and just pray, bro. Like prayer just like and and they're giving it back inside he kicks it back out to zion who's wide open for the mid-range who just hasn't missed, missed a single shot, shot this entire game, game. Like, and it's an 11 point lead how the heck does this happen i'm legitimately looking at a five point game and it's the lead is now 11 like how does this happen like come on can we get a bucket please can we get a bucket going to halftime please please just a bucket before halftime please Hey, oh my gosh, come on, Jakai. Come on, stop, get a stop, get a stop, get a stop, get a stop. You got this, you got this. Okay, never mind, Hedgy just. All right, y'all, like, I'm not gonna hold you. First half was terrible. Like, we gotta, we gotta do better as a team. First half was terrible, bro. Hey, oh my, oh my gosh. Second half, we gotta go crazy. Second half, we gotta go crazy, bro. Come on, Hezzy. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. They've been telling me you this, you this number one, number one point guard in the in the country, dog. Like I gotta, I gotta see it. Oh my gosh, good block. We really need to somehow figure out a way to cut this lead down, bro. We can't keep letting folks score buckets, bro. And Hezzy just slipped right past me for a bucket, bro. Let me get a good screen then. Oh, good pass inside. Hey. 
Come on, Jakai on his head. It's still a nine point game. We need to get to get some stops, bro. Like, all right, behind the back. Come on. Pass inside. Did Jakai, the pick and roll is working. The space off the pick and roll is working i think we just honestly we just got to keep going to that two man bro come on dog oh come on carter you you can stop that carter oh i left i left heavy wide open i left him wide open oh my god oh my god god somebody jumping please let's go come on jaleel that's what i'm talking about jaleel the move was sick but he just missed it Oh, behind the bat to the basket. Hey, oh my God. Oh my Holy cow. Oh my partner. Did we just see that? Dunk it on Dylan Harper. Oh my God. Yo, get up. Get up. Lock in, y'all. Get some stops. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm down. I'm free. What? Hey. Oh, what the? There's no way he all no way he got that. Oh my god. Crossover. Oh, it's wide. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. Three-point game. I don't need you doing all this at the, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I don't need you doing all that. See, and then I try to and then I try to do and now he got his take, bro. Oh my goodness. Hey. Good jump. Oh. <laughs> I was I was really hoping I I had to help. We we were just out of position. It was just it was just out of position and Hezzy Hezzy knocked it down, bro. All the way to the basket. Hey, he's too slow off the pick and roll. But the pick and roll has been bread and butter for us this entire game. Oh my gosh, you get it? Oh, wide open, mid range. Oh my! God. The turn Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. The turnaround is crazy. Thank you. We secured the board. Jakai to the basket. Lay up. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, eight minutes left to decide this one. It's a four point game and Zion's got his, he's got his grand badge, but he's missing. Oh my gosh, he missed it. That's big. My boy Bryce coming down on the other end. Though. What's he about to do? Come on, Bryce. Come on, Bryce. Oh, little, f oh, little fader. Oh, Bryce, if that was in your bag, bro. Oh no, go hold you. You'd be carrying SFG. Oh my God. <laughs> This dude has he he's he just no I can't I can't say that bro oh my gosh but get it right back though lay let's go get it right back kicking it over to Jaleel in the hands of Omen he trying to go baseline get to the basket lay up on Trey Parker is good I like that bucket out of you my boy he's gonna step back out reset guarded by Isaiah Omen has he wide open for the oh my gosh the shot rims in and out oh I know he wishes he could have that one back. Carter to the basket. And finally a foul call, which allows us to get back on the court. Oh, okay. oh, cut to the basket. Jakai! The pick and roll has been working all game and we take the lead. Rod Wave Elite, Drifty Elite. Another lob inside to Jakai! <laughs> Yo, the pick and roll is going crazy. Jakai's got 24. Hezzy trying to get to the basket. There's no way he got that layup off. Are you kidding me? No way. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. I I can't help too much though, cause I can't leave Hezzy open. And they take the and I believe they take the lead with that one. Oh my gosh. 127 left. Can I get to the basket? Hey! Yes, sir, man. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We here. We here. Floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wide open for three. He missed. Go, Jakai. Oh, layup. Good pass. Good pass, Jakai. Great pass, bro. Three point game. Great pass. Hezzy trying to get to the basket. Who's that? What? Dylan Harper wide open? I got it. I got it. Re rebound. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. If I see if I see a mismatch, I'm going for it. You know what, Carter? Go to work. Go to work, Carter. Go to work, Carter. Go to work, Carter. They gave you they gave you that whole side of the floor, bro. Go to work, my brother. And ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to do it for this Rod Wave Elite versus Drifty Elite special, man. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. It was exciting, bro. It was exciting to have to really crawl back and get this W. Hezzy put on an amazing performance. I, I can't even be mad. Hezzy put on a great performance, but Dior went out there and really showed why he's worth being on this court on such a big stage too and i know a lot of people was watching this one for sure
That last game versus Rod Wave Elite had to be one of the best games that I've ever played in my entire career. And quite frankly, when I tell you that this was a movie from the start to finish, you had to be there to witness it for yourself. And I wouldn't be doing this game justice if I didn't shout out the fact that my boy Hezzy was going absolutely crazy. It was a back and forth matchup that you definitely didn't want to miss. And trust me, CJ got his money's worth after everything that happened in this one. Now that we can finally put all of this behind us, we can move on to the next part and the most important part of our season the peach jam tournament but just to take care of something real quick just to let y'all know nazir banks and zay will no longer be on the team with us they have other priorities they need to take care of and are no longer playing with sfg but in spite of losing two of our best role players on the team we definitely went out and got some brand new talent to re-up for the peach jam tournament and i gotta say hooping against them in the open runs they definitely showed why they deserve to be on this team first is my guy jj a lanky guard who's able to guard one through five and really be a menace out there on defense and funny enough we actually picked up another zay on the squad kind of similar to the one that we had before just another small scrappy guard who just knows how to make winning plays at the right time for his team look for jj and zay both to have a huge impact on our sfg squad as we try to make a run to win a peach jam championship and speaking of the peach jam our goal at the beginning of the year was to make it to this point right here in augusta georgia to play some of the best basketball we've ever played the entire season all for the chance to win the peach jam national championship four games away of being able to complete our goal that we set at the beginning of the year and after an impressive win in the first round we find ourselves in the quarterfinals versus new heights lightning getting a win here would secure our ticket to play against night riders in the semi-finals as they beat drive nation but on the other end of the bracket vegas elite ended up beating team takeover and main united was able to get the job done against the psa cardinals now it would be nice to be able to get our revenge against vegas elite in the peach jam championship but they're gonna have a tough task ahead of them in main united but we can't think too much ahead into the future as we've got a game against new highest lightning featuring jakai howard and tahad pettiford now we already know how to hide get down from the slam summer classic and let me tell you the stakes are definitely higher with this being the peach jam tournament so i'm real excited about how we gonna match up in this one and running the court with him fresh off the rwe game is jakai howard i mean y'all know i don't gotta say much as simple as you don't give him a free lane to the basket or it's over but both these two alone are straight killers but that isn't the reason why this team has been so dominant throughout the eybl this entire team has been completely dominant throughout this tournament and it's gonna be nice to match up against them. I mean, their last game against Team Mellow in the first round was an absolutely dominating performance, winning by 24 points. Their last game definitely sent a statement to the entire EYBL that they're not coming to play and they're looking to win that championship. And with the team that they have, they definitely have the chance to do so. Hundreds of fans packed in the stands for this one, thousands more watching at home on ESPN, 16 teams all competing for one Peach Jam National Championship. And for us, that road starts tonight and it gets absolutely crazy in this game so you're definitely gonna want to watch until the end to find out who wins ladies and gentlemen here we are in the peace jam semifinals going up against new highs lightning and the likes of jakai howard and tahad pettiford oh my gosh tahad i can't get through i can't get through the screens bro and if i'm about to be chasing him around screens the entire time it's about to be a long day oh tahad got defense Oh, to the basket, lay. He's too little. Taha got some good defense, but he's kind of on the smaller side, and I and I do got the height advantage over him. So we get a Bryce. Bryce into the basket, lay. Gets his own rebound, put it back up, and one. All right, Bryce, count the bucket. Let's go. Look at making his dad proud. Look at him. Now please don't miss this free throw. Good lord. Yep, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hey, Taha cannot guard me, man. This is about to be easy pickings tonight, bro. It's about to be easy pickings tonight. Oh, yeah. No, no, we can't leave Jakai open. We cannot leave Jakai open, bro. This is about to be a dog fight. Go to work. You going to the, oh, all the way to the basket. Oh, good pass out. Hey, okay. We hooping right now. Hold on. We hooping right now. Good pass. I see the screen coming. We here. Yep, I'm helping. And they're giving it, but he pulled that from deep. Okay, it's definitely gonna be a game. Oh, yeah. Oh, good pass inside game. Hey, hey, man, we starting off hot, but so is they, bro. We we hooping right now. Hold on, I kind of like this. Come on, Gabe. Come on, Gabe. Oh, all the way to the basket. Hey, oh my. God. 
Call that time out. Hey man, we really hooper right now. I love to see that. JJ, what are you? JJ. JJ. Hey! <laughs> That boy Dior is hooping right now. That boy Dior is hooping right now, bro. Oh, JJ, all the way to the basket, layup. He got his own board. Get, dang, no foul call, what the? My man just got beat up. Get back. Oh, I left him open in the corner. That's on me, that's on me. I was finna help. I didn't even realize bro was in the corner, bro. Tell me, oh, the paint is f What? Oh, back out. Bryce for three. Yes, sir. Out of the paint was well open, and then immediately, as soon as I got there, a whole bunch of people just crashed down. So, oh yeah, the big going to the post. He's there. That's tough. That's a tough bucket. They pulling up for another three. Top of the key, no good. We get the board. We're pushing the break up to Gabe. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Layup. Yes, sir. Good pass, Gabe. Now, to be honest with you, now that I have time to talk about it, bro, JJ kind of been making some plays, and so is Zay, but I think we're going to need them to step up a little bit more, bro, because we can't allow them to start running away with it while I'm on the bench. And here they go. New Heights on the fast break into the basket. Oh, my God. That's tough. That's tough. And they tie the game with that one. Please do not run another screen with Will and Gabe, bro. That's not. Yes. Yes. This is who I'd like to see in the pick and roll action. Yes. Yes, thank you. Swinging it to Tahad in the corner. Trying to get it down to the post. Mid range. Oh my gosh. Will, where are you at? Those are the misses that we need. You got to be ready for the board right there, bro. It's still a tie game. I guess that. Oh, behind the back? Which threw him all the way back to the free throw line. Gabe for three and he knocks it down. Okay. Um, Get in the post. Come on, Gabe. Lock that up. That's all. Good defense. Great defense. What the? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen somebody hit a post fade put back dunk since like the first episode. What do they got going on out here, bro? All right, start of the third quarter and I'm not gonna hold you. This really has the makings of having a good finish. Zamir, hey! Start off the third quarter right. We didn't come all this way just to lose in the second round, bro. Oh, easy lay, easy lay. Todd is just too small. I'm smelling a big game from Dior right now. Oh yeah, we here. Yep. Yep. Why is he wide open? Oh, why is he wide open coming off the screen, bro? Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's push it all the way to the basket. Hey! Let's go. Oh, did we switch? Okay, bet, 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 bet. No way he hits that. Of course he hits that. I don't know why I said no way he hits that. Of course he hits that. Let me clear out for you, bro. I'm swinging it over to Gabe. Is this a play for Bryce? I like this. I like this play for Bryce. I like that out of you, Bryce. I like that. Who is this going to? Who is this going to? Don't, why he, why is he open for, th that man is open sparking from three again, bro. Use a screen. Yep. Or, or don't use a screen. Oh, I'm pulling up for three. Bang, bang. Great pass out. Great kick out. I mean, I'm not going to hold you. Tahad, you better step up, my boy. I'm not going to lie. Get that, get that, get that. Pass it inside the wheel. Good lay. Good pass. Great pass. I wasn't even sure if he was going to see him cutting, bro, but good pass. Oh, no way you came up. Ain't no way you came up. That's all the way to the basket. Why did you come up like that? Why did you come up like that? Why did you play up? No. I wanted Bryce to cut. Oh, my God. Ja'Kai Howard coming from the baseline backdoor cut for the gym. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you, Kylan. Hey! Sometimes I just like to go quick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Give them, don't even give them a chance to set up their defense, bro. That's how you gotta catch them lacking. You know what? That's how you, if that's how you wanna play it, bro. Oh yeah, Will. Mid-range. Thank you. If your big wanna come over and help, I'll just dot my big, bro. You forget that he a shooter now. Zamir back in the corner, set him a, yeah, set him a, set him a screen. There it is. Oh, he didn't pull that? Oh, all the way. Hey! Uh, oh my gosh. He feeling like that? I'm about to say, who he feeling like? Kylan. Pulling up for three. That's what I like to see. Like I said, I got a team of shooters, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We're up by 15 in the fourth quarter, bro. A confident lead. And hopefully we can close out this game. JJ, I see you. Oh, JJ to the basket and one. That's what I'm talking about, JJ. That's what I like to see out of you, gang. Dude, bro, you're a twig, dog. You're a twig. He just babied you. Oh, yeah, Bryce. Oh, all the way to the basket. Hey. Nah, the bounce is going crazy, bro. Let's run some O. Let's run some O. Okay, Gabe. 
Iso ball to the back. Okay, Gabe. I like that bucket out of you. Three minutes left to secure this one. And it looks like we're going to have ourselves a nice little victory in this game. But like I'm I'm really trying to I'm really trying to put an exclamation point on this game. You know what I'm saying? I'm tr I'm trying to make I'm trying to make a state. Oh wow. Taha gets a tough bucket, bro. I'm really trying to make a, a statement here. You know what? That's fine. Give it to Bryce. Bryce has been cooking. Put back by Will. That's what I like to see. I like the fact that we're closing out this game right now. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got two minutes left to doing this. Oh, Jakai trying to get to the basket. And Taha's wide open for three. That's 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 my bad. They're not gonna get it, bro. Go JJ, use the screen, use the screen. You're wide open, pull that, bang. Let's go JJ. That's fine, you know what? Oh, baseline, oh my gosh, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the switch that we want. Oh, he just stood there. Hey, that's game. That's game. 15 seconds left on the clock. Gonna come out with a dominant win here in the semifinals of the Peace Jam tournament. And I'm not gonna hold you. I know Dior went off for 36, but this was collectively a great team game. Like everybody from start to finish, from Bryce to Will to Gabe, everybody was was at some point hitting shots, but more importantly, we was really playing that defense. A 20 point victory in a, in a tournament game is crazy, man. There's one thing that I've learned throughout my entire life. Anything is possible, no matter what the circumstances may be. Even if you have your back against the wall, you have the opportunity to beat the odds. The picture being painted for this Peach Jam tournament is starting to become a little bit more clear as the games go on. Throughout our entire run this season, we've always been looked at as the Cinderella story of the tournament, the team that barely just got in, the team that really shouldn't even be here for real. So we figured if we're not even supposed to be here in the first place, we might as well go out and beat the odds anyways we made a huge statement by taking care of business against new heights lightning in our last quarterfinal matchup which put the entire eybl on notice off of the strength of a 36 point six assists and six rebound game we ended up running away with this one by 20. the biggest takeaway from this game is that the people who wrote us off as a cinderella team were starting to say that if we kept playing at this level we have a good chance of making it all the way to the championship but we were focused on taking it one game at a time and with the dub out of the way we were moving on to the semifinals. Two games left to decide who is going to be playing for a Peach Jam championship, and I couldn't wait to step on that court. But we had to wait to see two other teams go to war and secure a spot in the championship game first. Now, I have mentioned earlier that it would be real nice to be able to get our revenge against Vegas Elite after what they did earlier in the season. But unfortunately, Cooper Flag and Main United had other plans. In one of the craziest comebacks you'll ever see in your entire life, I got to win this firsthand the reason why they call cooper flag the number one prospect in the nation being down by 10 points nearing the end of the fourth quarter i watched cooper go and dominate bringing his team on a 23 to 0 run and ultimately getting a huge victory in the semi-final match 71 to 63 talking vegas elite out of the peach jam tournament off of a 44 point performance main united was able to elevate themselves to the championship game where they'll be waiting for us to meet them in the championship championship game. That is, of course, if we can get past one of the hottest teams in the entire EYBL circuit, Knight Riders Elite. This squad has been steamrolling through the competition led by their two twin dynamic duo of Caden Boozer and Cameron Boozer, top prospects in the class of 2025. And let me tell you, with these two, you definitely get the best of both worlds, with Caden being in an elite offensive talent at the point guard position, being able to create for himself and for others, and his brother being a strong presence not only on the inside, but is able to get it done on both ends of the floor for this Knight Rider squad. Add on to that, he's able to shoot well from deep and that's just another problem we gotta deal with. With us being only one game away from the Peach Jam Championship, the stakes have never been higher before. Can this SFG team beat the odds like they've done so many times before or does their Cinderella story end here tonight? You might wanna go ahead, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks and grab your snacks because you wanna strap in for this movie that's about to go down. And I know I say this before every single game, but trust me when I say you're gonna wanna watch until the very end because this right here was game of the year and here we are ladies and gentlemen in the semi-finals of the peach jam championship i'm not gonna lie to you we're gonna have a tough one ahead of us hey but let's get that thing started off we're gonna have a tough one with the night riders tonight bruh but look we are fully equipped and look i'm not going home early bruh oh spin move 
I left him wide open. I left him wide open. He made it. I left him wide open. Anyways, y'all, like I was saying, Knight Riders Elite versus Strive for Greatness. And this is just one of those games that could really go down to the wire. So we only got a couple more episodes left here in the EYBL season, getting closer and closer to that Peace Jam Championship. And I'm not gonna hold you. We got ourselves a tough matchup in this one. So this one could really be one of them classics that go down to the last buzzer. So you definitely want to stick around. Oh. Bryce, all the way to the basket. Hey, Bryce, get up on that rim. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. I'm here. I'm here. Oh. Hey, I like that out of you, Zamir. I like that out of you, my boy. Six to five, man. I'm loving this energy. Oh my gosh. Nah, nah, that's crazy. I'm there. That's all. No way he got him jumping like that. Oh, all the way. Hey, let me get my first points a little light dunk. You know what I'm saying? A light little dunk. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Lock in. Oh, yeah. We here. Yep. We here. We here. We here. Ain't no way he just hit that. All right. You know what? Oh, my God. Snatch. All the way to the basket. Lay what? him. Rebound. Put back. Let's go. That's fine. Hey, it was a good lay, but my boy will go ahead and clean it up for me. Oh, I couldn't get the put back or the rebound and they got another lob up to the oh my gosh cameron boozer another lob that was just bad play calls like why are we setting the screen for gabe with will in the pick and roll and leaving the paint wide open oh my goodness all right coach decided you know what i'm saying put my boy on the bench let him get some rest because we're definitely gonna need it like this is this is one of them this isn't a race type game this is a marathon bro you know what i'm saying we're gonna need everybody in the end bro because i feel like it's gonna be real close but hopefully my boy zay can lock him up you know what i'm saying like i said he is on the smaller side but scrappy defender that's what i like to see but he just jesus Jesus, Kaden. Swing it over to JJ. Oh, that's a mismatch. Go to work, JJ. Do something with it, JJ. Oh, post fade. I like that out of you, my boy. I like that. I mean, if you're going to miss it, then, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Will to the basket. Hold on, Will. Where you get some handles at? My boy over here cooking like that. Okay. Okay, all the way to the basket. Good defense, JJ. Dang, that's tough. That's my boy, Key. Dang, that's tough. Key. Calling for the screens. Amir, pull up. Mid range. He gonna pull up with that Tatum mid range or he gonna get to that basket. And that's what I love out of that. Get a stop. They're kicking it to, oh my gosh. The boozers, bruh. That man got 12 points to start out this game, bruh. Let's, let's, let's swing it around. Let, let's move the ball around. Inside, Zamir. Easy lay. Easy lay. That's good basketball. Man, how how is Zay gonna stop Caden, bro? Because that's that's the that's the problem here. Like stopping Caden, bro. Because if he just keeps if he just keeps doing that, it's gonna be a problem. Zamir, pull up. Another midi. No good. And he's got his sharp take. And he has his sharp take. And they're kicking it inside the camera. They are just running up the score right now. All right, your boy has checked back in, you know what I'm saying? And we need to get some points in a hurry. Hey, oh my God. No, 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 get up, get up, get up. Switch. Somebody guard my, yeah, Bryce. Get up, get up, get up, get back, 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 get back. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. At least they gave me a chance to get back into the game, but that was a crazy dunk. All right, come on, yep. Oh, what the? Yo, these, yo, 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 these lobs. Yo, these, somebody's got to stop him, bro. Oh, my gosh. And we can't catch passes, like. And we're leaving folks wide open in the corner for three. Oh, my goodness. Come on, y'all, y'all. Stay, bro, stay. Can we get a buck? Can we just get a bucket? Can we just get a, can we just get a bucket? Can we just get a bucket? Thank you. Can we just get a bucket? Stay poised. Oh, he, oh, my gosh. This dude, <laughs> Kaden Boozer is just cooking. Oh, all the way to the basket. Hey, uh, the give and go between me and Bryce. Come on. Oh my gosh, I left him open and he knocked that one down. Okay, you know what? He he can't guard me though. That's an easy lay. That's an easy lay. He can't guard me though. All right, and here we are with the second half of action here. we I'm not gonna hold you up to this point. We've just been playing what? really uh we've been letting that happen a lot i'm not gonna hold you but we've really just been playing sloppy the the entire first half we just we just got to do a better job like you know what come on man like we we got to put some points up on the boys amir to the basket lay 
There we go. Swinging it over to Bryce. Bryce, step pack, pull up, mid range. Thank you. This is just terrible. And he's cold. I'm trying to get to the basket. Lay. Thank you. Oh, I jumped. I jumped. I jumped. I thought he was going to shoot the three. I jumped. Like, I'm playing like trash right now. Gabe, wide open for three. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting to the basket all the way. No good. I get my own rebound, though. I'm putting it back up. I'm putting it back in. Come on. Yeah, reset, reset, reset or something. I don't like, I don't like that folks are just standing around. All the way. There, all the way. There we go. Go to work. Go to work, Bryce. Go to work. You've been cooking. Lay, Bryce. Lay. That's what I'm talking about, Bryce. We're still here. Mid range, pull up. He missed. Oh, he hit that. Wow, that's a tough shot. That's a tough shot. He hit that. Kylan, I missed you earlier. I got you, my boy. He got there at wow. Okay. Let me let me not do that. Me too. Me too. Me too. All the way to the basket. Hey! All the way to the basket. Oh yeah. All the way to the basket. I got ripped? No way I got ripped. Give me that. Give me that back. Hey! The whip on the fast break. All right, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. An eight point game. If we can, if while I'm not on the floor, we could cut the lead down just a little bit. If we could cut it down just a bit, then I'm not gonna lie, we're looking good. Come on, JJ. Let's go, JJ. Oh my goodness. Please get a stop. Please, please, please. Yes, 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 yes. What? No. What? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, eight minutes left to decide if we move on or go home in the semifinals versus the Knight Riders. And I'm not gonna hold you. We gonna have to, we're gonna have to dig deep. We gotta play some defense, that's all. Yo, they don't miss. This team doesn't miss. Please get us back in the game. Oh, he's wide open for three, please. <laughs> oh, this team does not miss. This is gonna make this comeback even tougher than I thought, dude. But like, our buckets gotta be quick. Good defense, good defense, good defense. I'm all the way on the dive. Lay, yes sir. I jumped. Nobody's running with me. I'm running with myself. I'm running by myself. He missed. Let's go, let's go. All the way, Gabe. Five point game, come on. Now the crowd is yelling defense. They're on our side. They want us to win this game. They want us to complete the comeback. Oh my gosh, and he knocked down another shot. Especially since we've been going quick. Bryce for three, wide open. Bang! Let's go, Bryce! Oh, and I just threw it, and I just threw a bad pass. Please, get a stop, get a stop. Oh, and we don't get it. We don't get a rebound. We don't get a rebound. It's fine. We got three minutes. We got three minutes. We got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time, y'all. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you, Will. Hey, point to the sky, Will. Get the stop. You fouled him. I mean, he's been cold. Maybe he'll miss. Maybe he'll miss. He's not missing. Why would I? Why would I bank on him missing? He did. We got a minute left, Bryce. To the basket. What? You miss another. Let's go. Come on. We need to stop. It's up to me. He. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. Help. He missed. Slow down. Whoa. Pull up mid range. Let's go. Let's go. Give me one stop. Give me one. Stop. I'm here. I'm still there. I'm still there. He missed. Timeout. Timeout. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I wanted a timeout. I wanted a timeout. We got it. Six seconds. For the win. Oh my gosh. I tried to go for the fade again, but instead we're going to overtime. Wow. We couldn't decide it in the regular minutes of gameplay. So we'll go to OT and play four more minutes. I'm leaving him open. Ain't no way I just left him open. 
That's crazy. Gate. Uh, gate? Are we serious? Are we serious? Okay, bro. What in the world is going on? You know what? I mean, if that's how you wanna, if you that's how you wanna play it, then let's go. I'd I'd probably do the same thing too. We got it. What? He got the steal? That's terrible. That's bad. That's bad looks. We gotta we gotta score. We gotta score in a hurry. Gabe, you're wide open for three. Let's go. Let's go, Gabe. Caden's back in, and he's still cold. Give me that. I'm going all the way. Hey, yo, this head. Come on. Come on. I'm here. Yep. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? We on that. We here. Go to work, Bryce. Go to Reich. Bryce, get you a bucket. Foul. Let's go, Bryce. Seal it at the line here, gang. Seal it at the line here, Bryce. Come on. Bryce, what the Bryce? Bryce, Bryce. Bryce. Bryce, what you got going on? Come on. Just make one. Just one. At least they can do is tie it. Thank you. Let's get it. That's 39. Get back. No threes. No threes. Don't leave nobody open for three. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to wrap it up for this one, man. We come in here and we get a win in the semifinals in what could be possibly the game of the year for Dior and SFG. And we are one game away from winning that Peach Jam Championship. So here we were, man, just one game away from the Peach Jam Championship, and all we had to do was get through Knight Riders Elite to get to that coveted championship spot. All of the hard work, time, preparation that we had put was going to test us at this moment in the season against one of the top teams in the EYBL. For all the people that got to watch it live, trust me, y'all had a treat when I say that this was game of the year. You could tell that this was a game that wasn't about X knows that wasn't about the playbook that wasn't about the star players it was about the team that was gonna be able to get it done in the end down by 13 late in the fourth quarter sfg went on one of the most magical runs you'll ever see which led to this shot to take the game to overtime with 27.3 left on the clock and late in overtime our defense stepped up big as they've done all season which led us to taking a slight victory over the night riders in the peace jam semifinals. one game left to realize our dreams that we set at the beginning of the season, but there'd be one thing in our way. Well, a newly released ESPN ranking of high school basketball prospects has Maine native Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag listed number one in the nation. He was invited by USA Basketball to come out to Las Vegas and just work out, but he was the best player on his team. Looking up the court, looking to dish, then sprinting the length of the court and getting the offensive rebound put back and one over one of the five best defensive players. Bam was all NBA first team defense. This kid Cooper Flag looks to be the real deal. He's 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 that dude. Yeah, he's going to be a star. This is Cooper Flag, the number one ranked prospect in the nation. I'm, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all already know who he is. I don't, I don't got to do the the whole ex explaining thing. Like, I, I don't, I don't need to do that. For, I mean, we talking about Cooper. Six foot nine, coming out of Newport, Maine. We've seen what he's done in the Slam Summer Classic, and let's not forget he's coming off of a 44 point performance against Vegas Elite in their semifinal match of the Peace Jam tournament. Two teams going to war, but only one can end up on top as the. Peace each jam champions can we go out and complete the mission that we had at the beginning of the year tonight so y'all already know what time it is go ahead grab your snacks grab your drinks grab your popcorn grab whatever you gotta get because you don't want to miss a second of the season finale we only got one goal man look i ain't even gonna stress out the intro i ain't even gonna do all that today look we got one goal and it's to beat that brother right there number 32 brother all right Hey, come on, well, let's start this thing off strong, man. It's the Peach Jam Championship. Y'all already know what time it is. It is the Peach Jam Championship with my boys 
from Maine United and SF. Oh my gosh, he's sparking from three. I'm here on the drop. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, we playing that defense. We playing that defense like we've been playing all season. Oh my gosh, of course he hits the mid range. We slide to the corner. Oh, Bryce, mid range, pull up. I like that, Bryce. I like that, Bryce. Oh, I threw it early. Ah, the I should have let the play develop. I threw it early. I got antsy. I got antsy. I threw the pass early. I, I kind of like Will Garden Cooper a little bit better, but Cooper plays the four. That's the thing. I'm here. Yup. That's playing. Oh, no. Oh. Better hit the meanest step back. It got a mean bucket on me. Hold on. They're giving it to Cooper now. Let's see what he does with it. In the hands of their other shooter. And he, wow. This team does not miss, it looks like. Good switch, Zamir. Come on. Oh, I'm going all the way to the basket. He's too slow. Lay! Cooper almost blocked that. Let's go. Easy lay. Easy lay, baby. We running it. Oh, Bryce, chill out. Bryce, chill out. Okay, Bryce, never mind. Go to work. My fault, gang. My fault, gang. He said he going off right now. My fault, gang. Oh, they don't want this. You just gave them a chance to get the switch. That's a lob. Hey! <laughs> oh my God! Come on, man. I'm loving this energy, dog. It's the Peach Jam, baby. Here they go. They're gonna try to give it. They're gonna try to give it to my guy. Uh huh. I'm here off the screen. Oh, another screen. I'm through. I'm through. I'm through that. Yes, sir. I'm through that screen. Why'd you help? Oh my gosh. Why did you help? We can't leave none of these folks open, bro. We can't leave any of these folks open. Oh yeah. All the way to the basket. He's too slow. Foul. Rebound. And one, Will. And one. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah, JJ. Run, JJ. Way. Oh, JJ, you got to dunk that one, gang. I ain't going to lie. Or, or give it to Bryce. You know what I'm saying? Bryce has been cooking his man this game. Bryce has been cooking his man this whole game, dude. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's run some O. Let's run some O. Zay, step back, three-pointer. <laughs> Zay, what was that ever in your bag, gang? Come on, dog. Cooper has not been doing much this game. I'm not going to hold you, but, like, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he just wait until the fourth quarter to start going off. I don't know what his, what his plan is, but, I mean, his team is scoring without him, so. Yeah, clamp up. Clamp up. Rock out. Oh, my gosh. Get up. Good block, Will. Great block. Great block, Will. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go inside. Gabe, play. No, rebound. Gabe, back out. Let's reset it. Let's reset it. Let's reset it. Zamir, pull up. Hus, rebound. Let's go, Will. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Bryce. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are turning up tonight. I'm here. Yep. Okay. They're setting the screen Cooper wide open at the top of the key. And there it is. That might be his first bucket in the game. I'm not going to hold you. Two point game. 55 seconds left in the second quarter, man. It, it's a nail biter for sure. He coming. Yep. He coming this way. Yep. I'm reading that. Oh my gosh. He pull up for another three. Cooper with the put back. Oh my gosh. He just comes like, you know what, Bryce? Oh, I got you for the screen, my boy. Use this. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That three was big. He pulled it in the mid. Oh, my gosh. He's tough. He's tough. Hold on. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the second half of action here. I'm not going to hold you. Two quarters left to decide the Peace Jam champions. Oh, my gosh. They're setting mad screens for him. Like, what is this? What is this, dude? Pull up for three. And he knocks it down. Of course. All right. Oh, yeah, Bryce. I see you, Bryce. <laughs> yeah, talking money out. Hey, come on, Bryce. My, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got Skrilla playing in my ear right now. Oh, yeah, we turned up. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Throw that. Yes, sir. Come on, Zamir. Run with me, gang. Run with me. No, you didn't run. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I seen you at the corner of my eye. I thought you was running. Oh, that's a lay. That's easy. Oh, my gosh, Cooper. Zamir, I thought you was running with me, gang. Why'd you slide to the corner? We here. We getting to stop this position. We need to stop. We need to stop this position. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, step up. Step up. Oh, my gosh. He's coming off that screen. His pull-up game is deadly, dude. Oh, Zamir, get to the basket. Lay. Okay, Zamir. 
I like that out of you, my boy. Yes, sir. It's a screen. It's a, it's it's once he gets a when he gets a pull up off the screen, it's automatic, bro. You missed, Will. Are you serious? Oh my! I can't get out there. He's oh my god! This point guard has literally been cooking, and if Cooper's not scoring, he's finding somebody, dude. Like we're down by seven, dude. Oh, who is this guarding me? I'm finna. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! Get on that rim, Dior. You know what? If it's if it's about time that I start scoring, I think it might be about that time that I start getting aggressive, dude. Bro, it just it just might be that it might just be, and especially with who's guarding me, it might just be that time to go score. It might just be that time to go get buckets. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to. Hey, coach, call that ISO, ISO. Oh my gosh, this is the issue though. Kylan on Cooper, yeah, that's the issue though. Cooper about to start scoring. Okay, Cooper, you want to go? We could go back and forth, Cooper flag. We could go back and forth, Cooper flag. We could go back and. Oh no, we can't. 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 No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Stay ten toes, dude. We cannot keep letting stuff like this happen. And Cooper getting up. Huh? And and now that I've got the opportunity to say it for all the people that was in the stream when I told them that I had to play Cooper, I'm telling you, the crash out session is going to be immaculate. If this keeps happening, dude. Yo, the comeback is definitely about to be on if we can get some stops here. The comeback is definitely about to be on. Give me that. I'm there. He made that. There's no way he made that. No way he just made that shot, dude. He doesn't have good defense either, dude. Like. Oh, yeah. There it is, Kylan. There it is, Kylan. Hey. Oh, my God. Let's go, Kylan. Oh, man. Eight minutes left of our season, and we are down by 10. If there is any chance to make a comeback it needs to be right now bryce let's go bryce way to start off the comeback strong baby let's go oh my gosh why are we running this game in will's screen and roll you know what you know what if it's getting us buckets like that keep running it let's get another stop let's get another stop let's get another stop oh my gosh he just floated it that's the one thing about zay bro being undersized get downhill mid-range pull up we got it will rebound what oh my gosh will those are the ones that you can't miss and cooper to the oh my gosh he's got 14 points tonight oh inside will yes sir get it right back get it right back will no why is he wide open why is he wide open why is he sitting there wide open at the top of the key for three dude that is not what we need get a bucket please get a bucket please get some sort of bucket will mid-range let's go we love to see it timeout main united we're down by eight with five minutes left we've been in this position before come on y'all come on y'all come on y'all strap up strap up I'm there. Yo, like he, he, once he gets to the pay, it's automatic. He's been going crazy this game, dude. We gotta score quick. We gotta score quick. We gotta score quick. We gotta score quick. Lay. He blocked it. He, blo oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is looking bad. This is looking really bad. This is looking really bad. I see you, Gabe. All the way. Lay. You, oh my God. Oh, and he's wide open for three in the corner. Oh my goodness, dude. It's about to be a 20 point game just like that, dude. What? Yeah. 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 The cut bro, the fall off is crazy. The collapse is crazy, dude. But we gotta we gotta stop. I, I yeah. And and now Cooper Fly's getting what? the ball. <laughs> ah, 70 to 52. 70 to 52. Come on now, y'all. We we still have a chance. We just gotta get buckets quickly. And <laughs> we can't even get layups to go, dude. This is terrible looks. We're getting booed right now. I'm stuck again. Cool. Why is he wide? Why is he just wide open? Why is he just wide open? Why? Like, why is we leaving folks wide open? 
Oh, I can't. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I can't like at all. This team just doesn't miss, and they're giving it to the big in the post. I. What am I? So oh man. No. RC. RCZ can't go down the drain like this, bro. Our. That's not even who I wanted to pass it to. Our season cannot go down the drain like this. That, there's no way our season goes down the drain like this, right? I can't believe our season's going down the drain like this. We worked so hard to get to this point, but Cooper Flag want to start scoring in the fourth quarter and go off for 20 points. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say. You know what? Lay, thank you. Oh man, no. Bro, we worked so hard to get to this point all the way to the Peace Championship. We worked so hard to get to this point all the way to the Peace Jam Championship. We went through Night Riders. We went through Vegas Elite. We had some crazy games. Oh man, but to have it in like this is just so disappointing, bro. I can't believe it, dude. I, I genuinely can't believe it. Our season is going to end like this in the Peace Jam Championship. I mean, only one could win. And it looks like Cooper Flag got the best of us in this game right here. But, oh, man, this is just so disappointing to see, bro. This is just, oh, my gosh, dude. I'm so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. GG's, though. GG's. We had it. We were right there, bro. It just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. But that's going to do it for this video right here, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure y'all go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Oh, I'm still hurt. I'm so hurt, bro. But we'll be back next season. Trust and believe.